Okay guys, continuing a little bit more. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. By nine o'clock, it's bad. Usually I go late at night. I go like two times a day, it's pretty bad. But I won't get into that either because of course we have to convince those in, that are making policy that people have to use the restrooms and go to the bathroom. But what I'd like to continue on is, you know, there's no protection for tenants. There's lots of protection for landlords. And the reason I say this is because I was a landlord for 20 years, okay? You don't make money by throwing people out on the street, okay? It, it's Unless you're scamming, it's expensive because every time somebody moves in, I was a good landlord. I painted. I would oftentimes put new carpeting in. I would oftentimes make repairs. So that gets costly, especially when you give them back their security. Oftentimes you give them back maybe another month's rent they gave you because they have to give you first, last. They have to give you pet uh, uh, money now. Um, you have to have a certain job nowadays because um, a lot of places it's three times the rent. You're talking upwards of $50,000. So these landlords complaining about all these lack tenants and the other ones are mostly Section 8. You know, you get people that it's automatically income that if they leave, you, you know, you automatically get your money. So I, you know, these landlords complaining there aren't any protections. I call foul. I call bullshit, especially in my community. Um, so basically what we have are scammers because there's no protections for tenants. I was thrown out numerous times in Amsterdam and they all knew it. I mean, here's these judges and that's why I say I'm an equal opportunity employer. I'm not targeting police officers because they can't continue this sort of case that they're building without the cooperation of judges and these lawyers here, which is what they did. Uh, Mr. Francisco, right at the get go when they arrested me out of my home and tried to allege that I was the domestic abuser told me to plead to this harassment charge for my ex. It's a violation. I figured we would go both get him. Oh no, it was me. And he made the threat that, well, you don't want a long drawn out fight with the police department, do you? And I was scared. I was in shock. I was like, long drawn out uh, thing with the police department. Why would I have that? But here I am today, guys, with all the properties I owned with my ex-husband, here I sit. And I'm being called a crack whore all the time, harassed by men. Uh, take care. Be safe.